going to move to the, our next talk, which is on discovering functional dependencies in graphs and going to be presented by Ping Lu. Good afternoon. My topic is discovery graph function dependencies. Let's start from the motivation. Knowledge graph has been widely used nowadays, but knowledge graph is not always consistency, which will affect the application. Let's consider the following example. A person during winter is given credit for producing film to sell out, but John is a high jumper in fact, the film was created by producer Jack Winter. It is shown in this, in this graph. Similar inconsistency can also find, can also, can also find in other knowledge graph. And how can we, how can we catch such inconsistencies? We will adopt the graph, graph functional dependencies. A graph functional dependencies it consists of two parts. One part. Q is the pattern and a an functional dependence X implies Y. Here, X and Y are set of literal of the following two forms. The A attribute of X is equal C, or the A attribute X equals the B attribute Y. Now we can use the GED to, to catch the inconsistency above. To design, we define this this GID, it's, it's, it states that in any subgraph of G that match Q1 wired isomorphism if product Y has, has type film, then the type of the person X is a producer. It catch the inconsistency about by match X to John Winter and Y to sell out. And the, the other inconsistencies can be checked, can, can be catch in a similar manner. Having these notations, we can define the discovery problem. Given a graph, the GED discovery is aimed to find a set of GED such that G sat satisfies the set. And second, all GEDs in the set is minimum, which means that <laughs> we cannot remove any edge from the pattern or we cannot leave, remove any literals from X. And no, no redundant GED exists in sigma, which means that any GED in the sigma cannot imply by other GEDs in the set. These three properties correspond to the correctness and no trivial and no redundant of the set. Now we consider the complexities of the discovery problem. Underline the discovery problem are two foundational problem about the GED, which, which are the validation problems and the implication problem. These two problems are called NP-hard and NP-hard recycling. Then how can we lower the complexity? And we found that when we bound the pattern by bound the number of vertex in the pattern, then the discovery problem will become tractable. Most fit, moreover, the validation problem becomes code W1 hard and the implication becomes fixed parameter tractable. To, to, to discover the GED, we also use a GFD generation tree to integrate the pattern generation and the attribute generation. We also defined a anti-monotonic support to plant the the candidates during the during the discovery to compute the the a cover of the set we will group the the GFDs and check implications in independently and we provide parallel parallel scalable algorithms intuitively the more processor we are used the faster the algorithm will run now we start from the GFD generation tree. A node, a node on the tree is, consists of two parts. The first part is the pattern, 
and the second part is a tree of the literals, then the tree will vertically extend the patterns by adding one, one edge and horizontally extend the tree of literals by adding one, one literals to the X. Now we, we, we can see how to define the anti-monotonic support for GED, GFD. Our object is that if phi 1 is smaller than phi 2, then the support, oh, the support of phi 1 is larger than phi 2. It is to, assert, it is to help to plan the candidate of GFD during the, during the discovery, but it's not easy to achieve. Given a pattern Q and a graph, if we define the support to be the number of match Q in the pattern, then it is not anti-monotonic. Consider the following example. Q1 is a one point and Q2 is considered of two points. We can verify that Q1 is smaller than Q2, but the support of Q1 is small, also smaller than, than Q2, the support of Q2. So it, it is not anti-monotonic. So we define the support of GFD to be the number of match of P words in the graph. Oh, since the time consider, I'm going to the to the experiment result. And GFD discovery is feasible in practice. It takes 591 seconds to to find a frequent four bound GFD. And the GFD discovery is parallel scalable. We can see from the experiment on DBpedia, the more processor I use, the faster the algorithm will run. Mm, the same phenom phenomenon can be can be seen from the graph graph based Yago and IMDB, and our integrate method with plan and low balance e is effect. Without integrate discovery, the algorithm fails at the parallel validation step, and second, the, our algorithm outperforms the ones without low balance by 1.3 one times on average. Let's conclude the, oh, we find an interesting, an interesting GED on the knowledge graph. A person cannot receive both golden bear and golden lion at the, for the same movie because both festivals require that. The movie has to be first released on the festival. Now we conclude our job. We tackle the fixed parameter complexity of the problem and we provide new techniques to spawning and validate GFD. We provide a notion of anti support for GFD, and we provide parallel algorithm for discovering GFD and computing a cover of GFD. Thanks for your time. Some questions? Uh, I have a question. Uh, where you? Uh, what uh, what data you use to learn the GFD from? The same uh, the DBpedia or the Yago? Yeah, Yago too. Uh, so, uh, if the uh, data set yet you uh, you learn the GFD have the errors, so uh, is, it, is uh, whether this will cause the GFD to uh, to have uh, false GFD is something. Because the data you learn the GFD will have some errors. And maybe uh, will it cause the GFD is a wrong function dependency? Oh, yeah. we, we need to d define the GFD above a threshold. If the error is small, we cannot find that GFD. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Any other questions? All right, we move to the next speaker. Let's thank.